Hey guys, alright, this is my second time trying to record this sucker because instead of stop recording, I hit the cancel button. <laughs> alright, so, first off, I just got a couple releases here that I've been really enjoying lately. The first one uh, was released in 2009. You know, I heard some clips of it, and it sounded good. It sounded like something I would enjoy. You know, I love be Blasphemy Worship. I love your typical bestial de black death metal. So I finally got around. I read a really good review of it recently that, you know, p piqued my curiosity again. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get this album. Nuclear ham Hammers Obliteration Ritual. Let me see here. It's a black vinyl released on Morbid Moon Records out of Montreal. You know, Canadian Black Death. Can, can you go wrong? I doubt it. So I threw this on the record player, and uh, I was really blown away, um, especially by the drumming. It's this really fast, really fast, but hypnotic, uh, repetitive, just like very hypnotic drumming. And the drumming really makes the album to me. Uh, you could put just like a standard normal drum beat to a lot of these songs and, you know, have, have, a, have a decent drummer, and it'd be a great, you know, it'd be a great war metal album. But the, the drumming, this drummer just, you know, I'm not a drummer, so I can't explain exactly how he does it, but he, he really makes this album. And it's a wonderful album. I can't believe I waited, like, what is it, four freaking years to check this album out. Um, I'm excited to hear stuff in the future from these guys. Nuclear Hammer, it, Obliteration, Ritual. Um, I, I see on uh, Encyclopedia that there's... Uh, several other releases by them. I'm going to have to go into their back catalog and uh, check out some other stuff, because if, if it's half as good as this, you know, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, like I said, I was very pleasantly surprised, and this has been on my turntable a lot lately. Um, the uh, next thing I'm going to review for you is, uh, I saw it uh, on the Nuclear War Now page about a week back, and, you know, I didn't even know it was coming out. Very happy. I was very excited for this. So I picked up on White Die Hard. Prosancta, Prosanctus Inferni's newest Noctambulous Jaws Within Sepaternal Night. It's a mouthful. Um, it is their second full length. Um, I remember, like, a handful of years ago, I was cruising iTunes, and I came across Prosanctus Inferni's first full length. Uh, it's a mouthful. I can't even remember the album's name. But, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd see what bands are related, and then just, you know, hear little clips. And immediately, I, I, I knew I liked Prosanctus Inferni. It had uh, a guy, the dude, I can't remember his name offhand, but had the dude, uh, one of the dudes from... Uh, Father Be Fouled, guys from uh, Black Funeral also, um, and so I thought I'd check it out. I loved it immediately. Great Blasphemy Worship, Black Death, War Metal, but it has like angular rhythms. It's a little bit more complex, has this uh, really fuzzed out uh, tremolo pick lead guitar that really fills, like it gets in there and fills all the spaces. So it, it's like you, you can... It really feels like more than just a two-piece, you know, and it, and it's great, great music. So I really like that first album. And then uh, a year or two ago, uh, Red Streams of Flesh came out, which was an EP, EP they did, and uh, they really stepped it up a notch. They, uh, you know, it's a it, it's only a 20-minute EP, but it felt like an album to me. And you can tell they've really honed their uh, their their songwriting skills. Um, still had the real fuzzed out guitar, makes it, makes the whole sound feel bigger, and, um, you know, it was, it was a great album. The first album was great, the EP was a bit superior to it, and, uh, all around, I'm, a, you know, very happy with their catalog at this point. Well, about a week ago, I see there's this new album, and I pick it up, and I'm expecting, you know, the same trajectory. And in a sense, I was right, but in a sense, I was really wrong because they really, they didn't just go up another step. They went up several steps. They, uh, they, um, 
I don't want to say they got rid of the fuzzed out guitar, but they they toned the fuzz down a notch and filled in all the space that it used to fill with superior songwriting. They really took it up several notches with the songwriting. Um, I mean, it sounds like here, I mean, obviously you've got some black death metal veterans playing in here, but it sounds here like, uh, like, you know how Incantation, like on their latest album, like the first song is just, just has everything you could want in a death metal song. Well, these guys are able to do that throughout the whole album. They bring their A game and, you know, there's twists and turns, there's just the riffs are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this is going this album's probably going to be right up there with uh, Antediluvian for my year end tops. Uh, I mean, I really believe it's that good. I've only listened to it a couple times and uh I'm I'm very very excited for this album. Um I wanted to get this re review in here before uh Armijo got gets it because I have a feeling he'll like this album a lot. So um yeah, two two excellent albums that I've really be di really been digging lately. Um, like I've said before, feel free to uh, leave any comments. Uh, once again, this is Prosanctus Inferni's new one and Nuclear Hammer's new one, both highly highly recommended. Hey, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one.